welcome zodiac this is the soul family collective read for whoever resonates a daily read this is november 10th 2021 i know because i looked it up right before i started i always forget the days god they're so you know what they change constantly illuminated tarot deck there's your visions um if you give a darn and what I want to do today uh, for our collective is, uh, you know, I like to do my heart spread. Um, and Wednesdays uh, are always uh, Leo Virgo days here. So I do uh, more, this is more spirituality manifestation like to think for the soul family here. But the rest of those uh, I do for the couples read the heart spread and the singles read meet the soulmate. It is more romantically oriented here. But here I try to look at us, you know, so really with this heart spread, which I normally would use uh, to do a relationship reading, essentially. Um, but uh, the number two position, instead of a person here in this reading, uh, we're going to say that this is our higher self. And I do the, like a check-in. Um, and so what this reading does is it just looks at uh, us and uh, the person we're thinking of, which I do typically see as a projection. Uh, into like our seventh house as an astrologer or anima animus and so now to me it's a little interesting when i thought of this it's like now uh, this is really kind of what we do if we choose a, pair, a spiritual path don't we we then kind of more project that energy onto our own higher self we want to evolve we want to grow spiritually you know i know when i when i first opened myself up to it i i was slammed <laughs> it was like karma was waiting it's like oh thank god and just um, and I thought like really felt like um, a little bit uh, cheated I felt a little bit like I this sounds weird a little raped like spiritually because I felt like I just I don't know I thought it was gonna be butterflies and sunshine and gardens and um, it you know I just absolutely got slammed but I kind of realized you know that's that's part of it um, uh, opening ourselves up and that's as I start to realize that what well, what I'm doing here is not a hundred percent about David and what I think I'm doing here and all the things I want and think I want to need and I need I want I need I want it's not really about that that's uh, my soul's having an experience here with this body David and that's I think for me like how I started to a lot of things came into perspective that otherwise because um, from my personal point of view, yeah, a lot of things could look really bad, you know. But when I step back and look at it more into that higher self now, projecting that in, as my anima animus, um, lining with that energy, um, it puts uh, everything into this kind of perspective that makes it all right. You know, like I said once, there are no wrong turns, I realized. Um, there's just right turns taken wrongly. <laughs> yeah. There's no mistakes, you know, everything's aligned, everything's connected. Now, here's how we're coming in, Knight of Pentacles, and this is uh, in relationship to our higher self. I do try to, uh, anyway, in the number one and number two, I do try to look at the individual and get a baseline, separate them from the relationship of, you know, sometimes this could just be a crush. If you're really crushing on someone, so it's picking up on someone who's on your mind here it's more deliberate now what I see with the knight of pentacles it's facing away from the reading from your higher self here so already like you're solid you're on the path um, I remember I read myself into this reading so as I taught me I, I get it uh, but you know um, it's like I'd like to see this facing into the reading and into the other the higher self here uh, but this is where you're at, you know, uh, in and around love and uh, manifestation, spirituality right now. Um, kind of a state, okay? And your higher self <laughs> is no surprise is facing into the reading, giving you this cup of love. This represents where your higher self is at, really in relation to kind of where you're at right now. You know, it's, it's just, um, it's a metaphor I call it a higher self it's not really a self but it's not exactly higher I think it's represented by a lot by uh, Uranus in the natal chart which is the higher octave of Mercury and can be literally called the higher mind so um, 
I think with this page energy, the page of cups, you don't, you know, associate the higher mind much with emotion, I don't think, and you don't associate really Uranus with the motion. That's Aquarius. Uh, it's the higher mind. It's a fixed air um, energy. Um, so it's interesting to me um, that the higher mind is a, is approaching you in this way, a very emotional way. So to be clear, this would be a feeling. And I have to kind of turn them around to show how they're approaching each other because that's very important. It's like we're moving away from our connection with the higher self, our soul connection with, with our journey here. But the higher self is coming towards us and offering us emotional support, okay? I believe this very well being a page, it's not only a messenger, it could be a new person in your life. It could be water energy, whether they are a water sign or not, guys. Um, you know, it could manifest uh, as a physical person. You know, it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a friend. Honestly, it could be a pet. <laughs> uh, but this is an energy that's coming into your life. And you're, uh, it's tough. You know, I get it. It's like you're kind of uh, having a hard time pushing forward in some way um, with this spiritual path. Um, the energy's been, to me, it's been incredibly hard. Um, um, and you know we're really still in the midst of this transformation kind of the end of it um, but I love the way your higher self is trying to approach you and trying to reach you I think like I think what's understood here is that I we really need uh, to drop into our emotions and to feel things I mean this is about opening the heart fully 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 why not why not why not open the heart fully? What the fuck are we here for? And turn this around and keep moving. This is a Knight of Pentacles. It's perfect, though. Otherwise, like, you know, you're on the path. There's going to be good days. It's going to be bad days. It's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. Fuck me, you may lose a battle. But you know that you can lose a battle and win a war. Because this is a good general, too. It's going to keep coming, keep learning. Um, relentless really energy which is exactly what we need here learn manage mistakes learn being very supported here I think it's like spirit is going out of its way our own higher selves going out of its way to give us what we need emotionally and I can tell you it could even be what, what does it mean that spirit gives us what we need emotionally does it give us a hug uh, brings like somebody into our life that gives us what we need emotionally. It brings a pet. It brings a person. You know, um, it, this also could be meaningful work that um, allows you to and helps you to open up emotionally. You know, um, as well. Now, Queen of Wands. Now, this is how we're reacting to the higher self. I think this shows a process here. Look, we're going from the Knight of Pentacles looking away to the Queen of Wands with a lot of Leo energy here, guys. Think fifth house, think sun. Any sun is also expressing fifth house energy in Leo, right? It's true, and the fifth house does in your chart, no matter what it is. It's Capricorn for me, God help me. Where Saturn is, uh, I just could take a minute. Damn you, Saturn. Mars and I, we're, we're busting it with Saturn right now. It's like duke, duking it. So, um, you're really getting enthusiastic and lit up now about, you know, connecting with your higher self. Um, so, I think this is exactly working. Let's see how they're, they're reacting. And I think, it, look, Ace of Pentacles, of course, they're right there with you. And there's something beginning. Look, you've got a page and an ace of pentacles. There's something new. It's like, you know what, guys? You, you, This is level. I feel it. This is having leveled up, basically gotten the world. Basically, we're on a new journey. I keep saying, Lionsgate. This next, this is 20, 30-year cycles right now being set by everyone. Can't get out of it, guys. You know, it's just how it is. Either we go into this uh, unwittingly and uh, the universe's infinite wisdom will decide it for us. You know, Uranus will bring in things and 
Pluto will change things, and Saturn will squash things, and Jupiter will exalt things, and around will go. Or we can take advantage of astrology or and tarot and other means uh, to get in alignment, you know, with our soul <laughs> or higher self. And I think that's happening. This is what's going on. And this is showing you're fully supported. Such beautiful. It's like the yin yang. It's manifestation too. It's like now with the with the ace of pentacles, it's sort of I don't know why it comes to me. It's like stem cells. Not to start the whole controversy. But from this ace of pentacles, you can make whatever you need. You know? Um and you're given this emotional support and this emotional support just allows you to flower spiritually to open up and I'm telling you what guys I really think this is about opening our hearts really opening our hearts just just not living in the you know God help us the fear death cult we, most of us live in a fear death cult it's like no matter how strong the fish is if you're swimming always in your whole life in polluted water it's gonna bring you down you know but this is, the Queen of Wands is not afraid of anything. There's no fear at all. I was like, not afraid of anything. Now, this is the advice from Spirit here in terms of our relationship with our own higher self here. Wow, the fool under the Queen of Wands. I mean, I think if you just look at them together, you get a lot of the same exact colors in the fool's uh, pantalones here that you get in the Queen's um, robe. And that's um, how we're reacting to our higher self, how we're feeling right now about this person, this part of ourselves that we're splintering off here to look at in our relationship. And then the fool is the advice from spirit and how to interact with our higher self. And I got some ideas about the fool here. I love the fool card, Sagittarius, I'm not going to lie. And this is advice from spirit, nothing to do with me. This is amazing, and you know, I got to tell you, coming under the Queen of Wands, it's, and I told you, with this Ace of Pentacles, like a stem cell, you could turn that into anything you want. It's like, guys, I got to tell you, it's Manifestation City. Manifestation Station. <laughs> God, dude, uh, this is what I'm really getting here. And so you are given everything you need, you're given every support you need, you now know that you can do anything you want and the universe is telling you open your mind get out of the box get out of the box because what you can do is anything so wow um, really really throw it open you know um, now uh, like uh, Hunter S. Thompson said I'm not recommending sex, drugs, and rock and roll, but this would be a great time to drop a tab of acid, a good, a tab of good clean acid, and kick back in the silent dark, you know, or better yet, you know, some good mushrooms, um, magic mushrooms, um, fool bitches. <laughs> wide open, throw it wide open, open your heart, open your mind. This is the time. It's like. There's no limitations. Bottom of the deck, I do read now, collaboration in this deck, the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot, really emphasizes, this is a good worker card, I love this. It's the artisan card to me in most decks, but here, really emphasizes the collaborative aspect of this. Um, and, and you know, so uh, what does that mean to collaborate? To me, I know I thought of that just before the reading, what kind of made me think of this. I sit and talk to my higher self, and I'm like, you know, guide me, protect me, give me strength. Please guide me, please protect me, please give me strength. And I feel guided and protected and strengthened, you know, at a, at a deep level. But that connection, you know, it's something I have to do out loud. I think it's important. Uh, the advice from spirit, very complex to read this. This is advice from spirit for your own higher self and how it needs to react to you. I think that now what this is, God, I, I want to tell the story, but I don't know how long, how much I can condense it. Um, this is a, 
This is your own higher self with the Four of Cups to keep this as succinct as possible, releasing you, like saying, okay, I think you got this. I'm telling you. Um, hmm. There's a kind of trust there. It's like your own higher self is saying, like, okay, we're together now. It's it like it can if there's to put it in words, like it can relax. It doesn't have to worry anymore about you. Because remember, it comes in with these emotional um, here support, um, which I think is it, it's kind of like your higher self going out of its way to support you. If that makes any sense really just absolutely going out of its way here to support you and support me support to support us thank you spirit three of wands this is in the crux of the heart spread it's like the most important card the heart spread really to me it's almost more important than the outcome and this is the advice from spirit for our connection our integration with our higher self i think this goes very well with the queen of wands and this is not anything to do with third parties. Uh, I know I make jokes that if I had a dating site, astrology dating site, it would be three of wands dating site. Um, but that's not what this is. Also threes, like three of cups, three of wands is action. It's a lot of action. It's the third house. It's Gemini in your chart. Third house in your chart. Taking action. Coming alive. It's queen of pinnacles. Spiritual things. This is why spirit's releasing you. It's like spirit's saying like, you know, you've got work to do now, um, you know. Um, you're good to go now. And I know the story I had, you know, I did the, the magic mushrooms in a shamanic way. It was in 2007, changed everything for me. I was an atheist before that, and all my life. And uh, that certainly ended that within an hour and a half. And, um, you know, it... It's set upon like the one dose, uh, five gram dose. This uh, I started hearing voices in my head. This just it just started and lasted for five months. And at the end of five months, um, the voices said, "You are done." And when I heard in my head, it wasn't an auditory hallucination. It's just a just a thought in my head, and it wasn't mine. And when I heard like you were done, I felt this oceanic uh, warp just flush all over me you know I was driving at the time uh, to an Indian restaurant uh, is like uh, 6 30 in the evening in uh, 2007 June 12th I don't forget uh, and I at that point see I didn't know if my mind just gonna forever be like this I was used to these voices always being with me they're very uh, loving and helpful and everything that's what I got when I saw this card it was it was exactly that I went I heard I heard in my mind again you were done and felt that flush, you know. Uh, and it was like the mushroom saying, you know, we've done everything we can. You you need to take this. You need to do it now. Just do it. This is just do it. Think Nike, okay? It's like uh, it's like when Kwai Chain Kane uh, leaves the monastery, finally snatches the pebble from the old blind dude, <laughs> and he gets to leave, man. That's you right now. That's me. Here we go. <laughs> Fucking triumphant, man. The hair font. I don't know. Is there a better card in this reading, which is about our relationship with our own higher self, than the hair font card here? You know, and I keep talking about uh, Uranus here during the reading because it's Uranus uh, squared. Well, it's exactly opposite my Venus, like right now. It's also the square to Saturn is a huge deal, guys, um, in, in the world and us. And so maybe, you know, that's there too. But I mean, could it be any more solid? I mean, we're heading to a really solid place here, guys. I got to tell you. And uh, if it means anything to anybody, because it does to me, um, there's a marriage coming. Yeah. And this is going to be operating at the highest level, spiritually at the highest level. Thank you, Spirit. Honest to God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, guide me, protect me, and give me strength. Give me a like, guys. Thumbs up. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Uh, if you could think of any platforms to share this, uh, please do. Uh, I appreciate your help. 
um, and I'd like to get to keep growing and get to 1,000 so we can do this live. I think the Soul Family Read is the one reading that I've, I've been looking forward to for quite a while uh, to do this live. Um, I have to figure out how to work that out, and it might be a bit for the distracted part of it, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to interact, but but some for sure will figure it out. Um, but thank you guys.